Good morning. So I almost forgot to show you my breakfast. It's the same thing I had yesterday and I almost burnt my toes. I had a few little other pieces over there, but it's my fish soup. I know, weirdest person ever, but sometimes I just get tired of breakfast food. I like it, but I like dinner better. So this is my seafood soup. I have been like chowing down here. And so I had a serving and a half, so that was probably like four points because that whole gigantic bowl is nine points. And then I had four points, no, three points of this bread. This is La Segunda Bakery here in Florida, one of the best bakeries. We are known for our Cuban toast down here because we have a very strong Latina representation. And this bread is the bomb when it's not half burnt. So anyway, I'm going to finish tearing up this breakfast and I'll be back to talk to you guys in just a few. Okay, so this might be nothing to you, but you know you're changing when you leave little pieces of bread on the plate. That would never happen before. So yeah, that's like one smart point right there. Winning! Hey you guys, so today's Tuesday, it's my long day at home. I don't start working until three and I don't have to leave the house until about 2.15. So I am going to have something special that was brought home for me this weekend and I just haven't been able to fit it into my points yet, but I'm gonna turn you around and let you see. Machados, <laughs> I'm excited about this. This is my favorite dish from Maggiano's. It is the chicken and spinach manicotti. And of course you know that that is quite a few points. It is 32 points for this entire pretty nice sized entree. So I'm going to have half of it for lunch today. That's gonna to be 16 points. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy that while I know that I have the points. And who knows if I have enough left over for a little bit for dinner, I just may have it again. Or I may have it again tomorrow for lunch. So I'm going to enjoy this while I watch a little bit of The Gifted. I don't know if you know about that show, but we love Marvel. And so I'm hoping that this is going to be a great series. I've got to catch up on episode one. So that's where I'm starting today with my Majanos. See you in a bit. Tuesday. Tuesday is an interesting day for me. I don't start until late, but thankfully I still get done before it gets too dark, so that makes me happy. Anyway, I am on my way home. Woo -hoo -hoo. And it's This Is Us tonight. Who watches This Is Us? Is that not like the best show that has been on in a really long time? Last week I was able to get through it without crying. I promise I won't spoil it for anybody who has back episodes in their DVR that they haven't watched. <laughs> but seriously, it's like my favorite night of the week because This Is Us comes on. So, um, yeah, but I didn't cry last week, so I was super excited about that. What is going on for me? It's not much. Like, there's really not much to tell. I had a great weekend. Um, been a lot of time with my love and if you didn't see yesterday's video um, you'll see our shenanigans if you choose to go back and watch that so I'm refreshed and not tired or anything like that I don't know if it's just here in Florida it's fall but it's not and that's kind of it's kind of sad you know, 
Like, I love fall and it's my favorite season ever. And I just, there's no signs of it. There's no signs of fall here at all. Um, it is literally, it's like just, it's almost seven o'clock and it's 90 degrees out still. So in the heat of the day, it's still close to a hundred and it just doesn't feel like hot fall. I used to live a little further up north and I lived in England for a while in my life. And so I know what the four seasons are like and I really miss them. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> I just, I was like, I think I just need to go get a bunch of fall decorations and like bling out my car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might turn this on and I might have like fall leaves hanging from my ceiling in the car or something because I just, I need some fall, man. Speaking of, I am working on my P.O. box because I want to send some happy mail to some folks and um, it's that time of year. So I'll be getting a P.O. box soon. But anyway, if any of you guys do happy mail and things like that let me know because I am definitely that girl too and I will I'll send you some Florida I'll send you some Florida sunshine and <laughs> some seashells and all that stuff we pretty much spent almost every weekend by the water so seashells and sand I gotcha <laughs> I'll do a trade-off I'll do care packages for anybody who wants to send me fall leaves <laughs> find the prettiest fall leaves you can put them in an envelope for me and send them to me <laughs> and I'll send you a piece of beach, right? I think it's a nice trade. Anyway, I'm just being silly today. My food, you've seen what I ate this morning. I had a really good eating day, but my points are gone. My points are like gone for the day, but it was so worth it. My family brought me some Maggiano's. You saw that. And it was freaking delicious. Just so delicious. And I think back to the time when I would have eaten that entire portion. I would have eaten that 32 point portion and not thought a single thing about it. And probably a dessert on top of that and, you know, whatever appetizers we all got. And I was just thinking about it today and I was like, I really, I really love the Weight Watchers plan. No, I am not losing the fastest I've ever lost weight before. I've done some crazy things and I've lost weight super fast before. But I'm changing. And that is so nice to be able to look up and feel and say, I see differences in my eating patterns and my needs even. And even my ability to stop and say, okay, I've had enough candy. And that's coming from like a sugar freak. Like, I am your sugar mama. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but no, today I just, I really stopped and, and thought about that. How much I really love this program and how I really, this is my lifestyle. You know, no matter what kind of focuses I have, you know, I know that I did all of this work with the holistic doctor a little earlier in the year. I don't want to ruin that. I don't want, I, and I want to pull back on some of the things that I've started reintroducing that are not good for my gallbladder. They're not good for some of my own personal health things that I need to watch. Um, and I'm very pleased with the way that my body is handling me just deciding to forget that I need to watch those things. But I want, you know, I want to rein that back in. But just following this program is so livable. It, it really is. And I just, for the past three weeks of being back on track, I just, I'm so thankful that I'm not on a diet. Like, do you feel that way, those of you that have been doing it for a while, or even if you just started? Yeah, it feels a little harder in the beginning because it feels limiting, but you can still have your favorite foods. You can still you know, have a drink if you like to drink. You can still have candy or cakes and pastries if that's what you like. And slowly but surely, as you do the program, your tastes just begin to change and your the amount of what you need, you know, begins to 
to change. It's just so nice to, like I said, being that candy person, to be able to say, I've had enough. I'm good. I don't need another Tootsie Roll today, you know. Um, although, I know I need to put my kids' treat bags in the trunk because uh, I've been getting into that way too much. And I do not want to unleash the sugar beast and derail myself because I want that 10 pounds by winter. And I want to be down 15 pounds before the year ends. I want to start 2018 at 275 or below because that will be that place that I haven't been in a really long time in, in several years. So that's what I want. I feel like it'll be a great start to the new year. So, all right, I've just been gabbing on. I'm going to get off of here and I'm gonna go ahead and close out for the night. I have no more food left to eat, so if I eat anything, I actually think I haven't calculated everything, but I believe that, oh, the only thing that you didn't see food-wise today is, I think I showed you the smoothie that I made. I did make another salted caramel. Dear Lord, that was so good. Salted caramel the Weight Watchers smoothie salted caramel packets and pumpkin. It's my favorite blend right now. It feels like Florida fall. Perfect. I had that and then I had I had some chicken wings this evening because I just I had some candy and I was feeling kind of bleh. So protein always kind of brings it, you know, those are blood sugar fluctuations. So as soon as I had some protein, it brought me right back into alignment. I felt better again. So I am done. Your girl is done eating for the day. If I have anything, it will be some grapes or some veggies. If I get hungry and really want a meal, then I'll have another bowl of my vegetable soup, like a half portion. That'll be like one point because I still have, I think, about 10 weeklies left. So anyway, that's how I'm doing today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let me know how your fall is going. Let me know where you are in the world. And um, yeah, send me some fall, ball, fall vibes down here to Florida because we've got none. Seriously. All right, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.